Hi guys, I'm gonna make a video of the uh, various handguns I recently got. The first one is a uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm. It comes with this um, range kit from uh, Smith & Wesson, which is a uh, really good value. You get four magazines with it, four 10 round magazines. They're all limited to 10 rounds in Canada for handguns. Uh, magazine holder. You get a speed loader, which is pretty handy. You can do your uh, reloading a little bit quicker. And then you get the 9mm itself. Uh, which is a real sweep 9mm it's uh, half polymer and steel you get three different palm swells on it as well so you can adjust that accordingly to what size your uh, size of your palm uh, it's got straightforward sights on it nothing fancy there just uh, basic sights on it they don't uh, they're not trigicon or anything like that go in the dark and then you get the usual stuff from Smith & Wesson, which is, uh, like I said, the palm swells, some air plugs and safety manual. So that's a uh, 9mm. They run for about 620 bucks, 625 I think I paid for this out of a uh, place in Calgary. And then here I got a... Uh, Ruger SR 1911 I uh, put it in this Pelican case because they just give you a little padded case when you buy it from uh, from Ruger now this is um, for a 1911 it's pretty reasonably priced uh, they run about 750 bucks in Canada and for the money, they really are excellent value. They're uh, extremely accurate. Uh, I've only put maybe 50 rounds through this. But um, it's a very nice gun for the money. Like I say, you can spend up to, up to $1,000 entry level on SIGs and onwards and upwards from there. But uh, for the money, this is a really good buy. It's got a bit of a loose trigger on it for some reason. But that doesn't affect the uh, the overall performance. A lot of people complain about their fit from the slide to the frame is loose as well. There's a little bit of tolerance there, but nothing nothing crazy. Certainly doesn't affect the uh, the overall performance of the gun. And then. Um, just with what's happening in the states right now regarding all firearms uh, there's going to be like a shortage in the states which will obviously affect Canada too of um, handguns or assault rifles anything like that so the performance center handguns which I'm going to show you now I've got three of them they're real uh, jewels as far as I'm concerned there's a little guy here local to where I live that had them in the store and he explained to me that pretty much confirmed what I'd already read online about the shortage and um, kind of made my mind up to buy them now rather than run the risk of not being able to get them in Canada for a couple of years. But this is a uh, Smith & Wesson 327 TRR8 and it's a uh, 357 Magnum and it takes um, eight rounds, usually you're looking at six rounds for 357, but this is actually an eight shot. And uh, comes with this rail here on the bottom. I actually made a video about this one. This is the first one I got. And uh, it's a real sweet gun. The action is incredible. It's exactly what you'd expect from Performance Center. Um, it's got a rail here for a, putting a flashlight on it, and then an upper rail here. If you're gonna mount an optic or anything like that, and the trigger, is just just super sweet you know 
it's really a uh, nice piece. It's probably my favourite to be honest with you of all my uh, performance centre handguns and it's just awesome. And then you get all the usual bits and bobs with moon clips and the uh, first fired factory round shell casing. That's a, that's a beauty, I love that gun. This one is a uh, also a performance center Smith and Wesson. This is a 627 and it's another 357 Magnum 8 shot. But it's um it's got these wooden grips that come with it, but you also get a set of um Hogue rubber grips as well, so you can have the same same look as the uh TRR8 I just showed you. But this again is uh you get all the usual stuff with that that you get with the TRR8 moon clips and I haven't sh actually shot this yet. It's uh again an eight round 357 Magnum. They actually tell you right there on the barrel. 357 Magnum eight times. Just in case you lost count. But again, with all the firearms that I've encountered from Performance Center, they are just well worth the extra money you pay for them. The fit, the finish, they uh it just goes back to you get what you pay for, I guess. And um with the way things are going now with the shortages in the States and Canada, you'd have no issues getting your money back for it. I think they paid uh Just over 1500 bucks for that. But, like I say, money well spent as far as I'm concerned. And then the last one I got is probably one of the most sought after, especially in Canada, handguns made by the Performance Center. It's a Smith & Wesson 629 Stealth Hunter. And um, it's a formidable piece. It's 44 Magnum, um, six rounds of 44 Magnum. It's uh, quite the gun. It really is a big, hefty firearm. Um, it looks the part. It has this black finish to it, which is like the TRR8. Um, it's got a Scandium frame, which is a lightweight frame. But even so, it's still pretty heavy. I actually bought a cheap red dot sight for it because you can mount it straight onto the to the rail here that's already built in but um i'm not sure whether this would hold up to um the recoil from a 44 magnum probably not so you'd probably just end up having to keep zero in it or buy a more expensive like an eotech or something like that for it but um this gun is awesome and again it's unfired i haven't yet had the chance to shoot it but it's um it's a very rare gun. It, they're simply not making many of these. Um, why, I don't know, but again, especially with all the shortages in the States right now, the chances of uh, getting your hands on one of these is uh, slim to none this year, 2013, and maybe next year when it all dies down, they'll catch up with production, but I'm really happy to get this um, super light trigger on it. just feels great. And um, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed seeing them, and uh, any questions or comments, feel free to add them. Okay, take care. Thanks.